Are you spending too much time grading assignments and searching for quality practice problems aligned with your Open Up Resources curriculum? In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to assign three lessons that support 6th grade Open Up Resources Unit 4 Dividing Fractions in less than five minutes using Albert. After you've created your class on the Albert Learning Platform, select View Class. Then click on the Assignments tab and select Create Assignment. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to create from the folder, but in the meantime, let's go to the Subjects Guide. You can search the standards, the tags, or the question text, or you can scroll down to find your topic. Sixth Grade Open Up Resources Unit 4 is on Dividing Fractions. So I'm looking for the topic titled Dividing Fractions. Here's Fractions, Addition and Subtraction, Multiplication, and here's Division. I'll select Level 1. Divide Unit Fraction by Whole Numbers. Click on the vertical three dots menu and choose Quick Assign. This is where you choose the recipients. You can choose a class, or you can differentiate and select specific students from your class roster. And this feature comes in handy when you have different groups of students that are working at different levels. When you're done selecting the recipients, press Next. Give the assignment a title, a start date, and a due date. You have the option to select a time limit. You can choose to allow late submissions, you can randomize the order of the questions. Show correct answers and explanations. This is my favorite feature. After each question is the least restrictive and perfect for when you're starting the unit. After assignment completion is moderately restrictive and is good for assigning as a practice test when the students are more familiar with the subject. After the due date has passed is the most restrictive and is good for when you're giving a test. And you have an option where you can leave a message to the students. Click Submit. The practice problems are automatically assigned to the students and a link is copied so you can share it with other students and teachers. For this second assignment, we'll use the Tags search to find our practice problems. Click on the Assignments tab, then click on Create Assignment, and then go to the Subjects Guide. Now using the Tags search, I'm going to type the word Fractions, and a number of tags appear to choose from. I'll select Operations with Fractions and click Apply. I'm going to select Fractions, Division, five questions. Here we have the option to sort, filter, and share. First I'm going to sort, and I'm going to select random. Then I'm going to filter, and I'm going to select the easy and moderate questions. It looks to me like there are three questions. Two of them are moderate, and one of them is easy. Now I click share. The practice problems are shared with your class and the link is automatically copied so you can share it with other students and teachers. For the third assignment, I'll show you how to make a quiz. Just like before, click on the Assignments tab and click on Create Assignment. Then choose Go to Subject Guide. This time I'm going to scroll down to Fractions Divide and I'll choose Level 2, Divide Whole Numbers by Unit Fraction. Go to the vertical three-dot menu and select Quick Assign. Since this will be a quiz for everybody in the class, I'll assign it to the whole class. I'll give the quiz a name, a start date, and a due date. And since this is a quiz, I'm going to give it a 40-minute time limit. I'll select Randomize the Question Order because this is a quiz, 
and I'm going to select the option that gives the answers and explanations, not just after the quiz is submitted, but after the due date for the quiz. This would make it harder for students to cheat. They wouldn't be able to share the answers or the explanations with each other while the quiz was still open. And I'll leave a message reminding the students that they have a 40-minute time limit and that it's a quiz. Click Submit. The quiz is automatically assigned to the students and a link is automatically copied so you can share the link with other students and teachers. So there you have it. We assign three different types of practice assignments including differentiation and a quiz in under five minutes. Since you're still watching, you might be interested in how to create an assignment from a folder. Let's click Go to Folders. You can set these folders up in advance and use them from year to year. It's taken me to my folders. I have a Multiply Fractions quiz that I'm going to let four students retake. Click on the Actions drop-down menu and select Create Assignment. And I'm going to select the four students that need to retake this quiz. Again, this is an awesome tool for differentiation. And then you just select the options for the assignment. If you want to save time so that you can focus on teaching and you like what you saw in this video, check out the description box where you'll find a link to the albert.io website where you'll find the opportunity for you and your school to use Albert free for 30 days. Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it.